What's up guys, Zeus here with another video. Once again, before the video starts, I just want to remind you all that if you do like what you're watching, don't forget to like, comment, and share the video, and press the subscribe button if you want to see more of me, and turn on that little bell so that way then after that you get a notification when I upload a new video. Now I am talking in a very low and baritone voice to a certain extent because it is currently 10 in the morning my time but the rest of my family is still asleep but got up decided to record a video to talk about it now before the video starts i just want to say that note was crispy and i mean probably one of my best notes that i've ever hit in my history of playing bio but the reason i wanted to make this video was because i main bio so i wanted to give my opinions on violinists I wanted to do a let's talk on bio so that's what this video is going to be let's talk number three is going to be about violinist because there are some people that i know who have personally <laughs> me and me in game telling me that they want to learn more about violinist or that they have fun playing bio after seeing my content and that they want to main him so i decided might as well i'll make this video about it now just like I did with the Percy analysis video, there's going to be three matches to this video. So, then the times, I'm going to talk about violinist, his pros, cons, everything. So, as you can see, now that I'm done with my little charade, or my little thing, my little rant, <laughs> I did a fairly quick down on the forward as there are still five ciphers, no, four ciphers now remaining, sorry. There are now four ciphers remaining still, with Mex Doll gone, forward pretty much used all of his football already, and Seer we used this owl. So the entire team is pretty much neutered when it comes to resources for the survivor's end. But Violinist is a hunter where you can't get cocky. Like there are hunters with light, and what I mean by cocky is pretty much you can't get over yourself. You can't be like, oh, I have them in this position, so that's guaranteed, because as a violinist, nothing is like that. And this is obviously true for hunters like Ripper, Soul Weaver, Feaster, all of them. But violinist definitely has one of the harder... I wouldn't say harder, but he's definitely one of those hunters that gets punished more for having confidence. Because of the fact that his note hitboxes are weird like to a certain extent and because you can also just really dodge it's kind of like a ripper's wind and a soul weaver's web shot where if you're overconfident with it and you chuck it based off dumb luck you're just going to get punished hard for it nonetheless though ripper's a, a dig ripper and bio is a hunter where you need to keep you're cool you need to make sure that 24 7 you are always trying to say where is the next cypher when is the cypher going to be complete you never want to get tunnel vision you never want to get overly confident when it comes to your violinist you don't want to be throwing notes out of thin air thinking oh i'm gonna hit this note because i've been on such a good game you don't you never want to think of that mindset you always want to make sure that you use your notes accordingly just like if it was a ripper's wind or a weaver's web shot only use it when you think you can get the hit or you know you can get the hit Seer does a good job at dodging my Rhapsody and my note as a whole. And here you're going to see what I mean why I say confidence. Here, right, I chuck a note. Then about 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I chuck the note. Boom, hit the Seer. And that somehow hits the chair. And here I'm just like, oh my god, are you serious? I hit the chair. So now this is where like the tunnel vision aspect comes in because now in this state as a hunter I'm like oh crap I, I need to get it I need to get her down I need to get her down you don't want to think like that when you're playing bio because then what happens you just get punished for it I what I could have done is that I probably could have been a bit more patient I probably could have tried to wait for my note cooldown I don't know how that would have turned out but it would have killed enough time at least for my teleport to come back off cooldown and that could have saved me and get the down and then yeah 
person but yeah for a while you definitely don't want to be overconfident you don't you want to you don't want to go crazy it's like you don't want to get trigger happy that that's what the phrase i was looking for you don't want to get trigger happy as a vial you, you don't it's like a bonbon you, in early game you don't want to be a trigger happy bonbon you want to make sure that everything goes accordingly this is the second match on sacred this is going to be a match that really emphasizes on the no tunnel vision aspect as you can see this is barely close to i guess you could say a meta team comp it's just barely meta because there's a forward and a merc on the team but i'm assuming that the forward and the ento since they are have clan tags i'm assuming that they were in two-man comms so the communication was there so here i find the forward first i'm like you know what i'm a bio i'll probably be able to chase the forward right hence cockiness rule one what I should have done is rotate over to try and find the doctor or the ento. Because forward is definitely a character you don't want to chase. And what, what, what was that net ease? What was that? What, what was that net ease? You're going to tell me that didn't hit? But you know what? I'm fine with it. So here, I missed that hit. And I'm like, oh my god, you can't be serious. And as you can see, my blink is already up. So that's how long the kite has been. My blink is already up and I still haven't landed a hit. So right now, any normal hunter would have been like, okay, I'm gonna have to move on. I'm gonna have to rotate to a different survivor so that way then I can control ciphers. No, in this match, I have pristine tunnel vision. As in like right now, I'm solely focused and my only focus is to get this forward down. And that's what you don't want. Vio's whole thing is being able to camp and being able to stop rescues hence why he has a sum of three total hits his note hit his rhapsody hit and then his regular hit his entire ability surrounded against cam please fix blink for the love of god <laughs> this is the second video in a row where my blink just tells me to go do something else with my life but yeah Vio is surrounded solely based off his camping. Well, I wouldn't say solely, but it's his main aspect when it comes to him as a hunter. His camping. You want to be able to at least get a quick down so that way then you can at least get the first ability. So that way then you can slow them down and then from there you can note and then regular hit. Now here, I do manage to finally get down the forward. And in the video, you're later going to see what I mean by the camping aspect. <sighs> Sorry guys. Mm. Early for me at least. I haven't gotten much sleep. I've been doing morning rank for three days back to back. Oh god. But yeah. So now as you can see I'm trying to harass a cipher that's not even being decoded because I'm not even looking for ciphers that are wiggling. I'm just looking for a cipher to throw no time. This match is like very like what not to do as a vio. Like, I chased the forward early game. I had tunnel vision. I didn't control ciphers. Like, this is all what you don't want to do as a vial. Now, Merc does a good job at waiting with that little grace period that the survivors have when they're at the halfway mark. Like, trying to figure out the exact timing. It's like a seven second grace period without snooze. And then after that, I knock forward. So I decided to say, you know what? There's one cipher. Like, is there one? Yeah, there's one cipher. Two ciphers. Not one cipher. I'm, I'm going crazy, guys. I said, you know what? It's time to harass the cipher. I try to smack the Ento, and somehow that doesn't hit. And I'm just like, you know what? Uh. So now it's just like Ento and Merc are here. Doctor is soon to be here. Give it a couple seconds. Yeah. Doctor's on her way. I'm like, okay, if I can control this cipher, I can probably get a nice swift down. And this is what I mean when I say camping is Vio's like best, is his strongest way to win matches. I hit the Merc, I get my feed, Rhapsody, knock the Merc again, and then I'm able to smack the Ento. So now all of a sudden, this is like, oh wow, look at this palace then though. Do you, do you see the, the how far she was? Like, I don't know how that worked. 
I know there's a thing where survivors can just like two frame into their palette because of the interaction button. But I lose the forward, so I'm like, okay, I'm gonna have to chair the mercenary. Now, the camping, while it is everything, camping with confidence is an entirely different thing. And when I say camping with confidence, I mean willing to take risk pretty much as a vial. We see in this match that I've got about four cypher kited by a forward. I had tunnel visions and I didn't even exert cypher control. Like, look at this here. I'm camping with confidence. I hit, I wait, and I smack. And so it tries. I sack the rescue. This is good. Now you're thinking like, oh, he sacked the rescue. That means he's probably going to get a tie or something. No, because I'm not being confident. I know that two people are up. I know that doctor's down. But I also know that doctor is a doctor. Which means she heals in roughly around 20 to 30 seconds. Ento is decoding the final cipher. I can see the final cipher being wiggled. But I'm too scared of letting the rescue happen to even go over to go pressure the final cipher now i checked merc's build because i wanted to see if he had snooze because i was just like okay why is this taking so long why is he taking so long to die yeah i'm not camping with confidence and doctor as you see does get up so now from here is just like okay my note wow i missed that note and then i smack forward and boom that's what I mean when I say camping with confidence. When you're camping as a vial, you want to be taking risks. You want to get out there because the survivors are expecting you to be passive since you're camping. That's not what you want to do as a vial. You want to, when you're camping, you want to make sure that you are being aggressive so that way then you put pressure on the survivors. You're like, okay, so the vial is going to do this. If I do this, he's going to smack me. If I don't do this, he's going to hit me with a note and then probably double hit me. You don't want to be passive like I was in this match where it comes to camping and you're just like, okay, I'm going to stay, I'm going to stick by the chair, I'm going to hug the chair to the very end. Because then what happens? You get four manned. Like this. This match is going to show you an exact representation of what I mean of camping with confidence. Uh, I know Eli and Cloudy, they were on two-man comms. I know that much. I don't know so much about the Gravekeeper and the Mech. Uh, so over here, my tinnitus is ringing. I'm like, okay, where's it ringing from? And I'm like, oh, somebody spawned by Backgate Cypher. And lo and behold. Hi. Yeah. Lo and behold, it is the Gravekeeper. Here, I'm patient. I wait. I'm not getting overconfident with my note thinking I cornered him. I'm very patient with it. And yeah. I guess that segues into the third and final thing with Vio. You want to have patience. You don't want to rush your notes. Prime example why you don't want to rush your notes. Because if you miss, that's a 14 second cooldown. That you have a pretty much no chase at all. But yeah. Patience is very much key when it comes to Vio. The way I run Vio is, yep, the second match in a row with my blink. The way I run with Vio is I'm very, you, I have to try to be very patient with my notes. You don't want to chuck your notes. You don't. You saw what happened with the Gravekeeper? Boom. He, he got away with that note and I went under 14 seconds of just not being able to chase. When you're playing Vio, patience is everything. You don't want to use your notes for the hits. That's not the whole, that's not the note's entire purpose. To use the note is to pretty much cut off the survivor's root. Like here, I'm getting impatient with my notes and I'm just chucking them. And what's happening? The Gravekeeper is still kiting the living crap out of me. Because he's just like, okay, I can just do this. I move around the note and then I continue my kite like it's nobody's business. Here I get a terror shock, which is, I don't know how, but, you know, Vio has like four different hitboxes, but we don't talk about it. And mind you, this was around a four cypher kite. The cypher rush is just very slow because the gravekeeper was injured. But this is around a four cypher kite. As you can see, all the ciphers that I checked on, they were all like at 80, 90. So I definitely did get, I definitely did get a run of my money. He definitely put me on the run for my money. I smacked the priestess beforehand. 
and this is what I mean back to what I was saying about sacking being bios like best quality. Look at this. I do this, Rhapsody, and boom. Priestess goes down again right before she could portal. I'm gonna smack this here and I'm gonna keep it 100 with you guys. Here it didn't even register that I could smack the seer right then and there. And my brain was on a completely different planet. I was just like, oh wow. Could have got an easy nod. Here again, like it, it didn't <laughs> it didn't register. Tunnel vision I could have used my rhapsody, I could have then knocked the seer, and then boom. The priestess does get up, but I just quickly get her knocked right back down. Gravekeeper, then after that, I put him on the chair, he dies, there's one cypher left. Accelerated has just started, so now this is just a game of cypher control. Oh lord, I'm yawning a lot throughout this video. But yeah. Now, on the topic of what I say Violinus is weak, I would not say Vio is definitely weak. He's definitely a capable hunter. But he can still get his he, he can still get shit on. Like put simply, he can still get shit on. Like Violinus is definitely not a weak hunter. He's not like Ripper or Weaver, Hellember, Gamekeeper. He's not like any of those. He's definitely better than those hunters. But he can still definitely get shit on. He can definitely get kited for five ciphers like it's nobody's business and then he will not be able to recover from that unless the survivors severely mess it up like and i mean severely but yeah overall thoughts on violinist you want to make sure that you have patience with him you don't want to get tunnel vision and you want to be confident when camping you want to be aggressive when camping so that we have pressures on like here i'm being aggressive when camping i'm making the mech constantly move around and she has no choice where to go I'm forcing her into an area to get hit by my Rhapsody, but she does do a good dodge. So now I'm like, okay, bet. We'll sit here and wait, and you won't get that rescue before half. So I, then I hit the chair to make her get the rescue before, right after half. And then it's just a game of body blocks, so on, so forth. And, you know, Seer does go down, and Cyphers do pop. Not now, though. Later in the game, Cyphers do pop. <laughs> but I got y'all with that one. Well, yeah. Overall, uh, Jesus Christ, that is my fourth yawn throughout the video. Overall, Violinist, he's not the best hunter, he's not the strongest hunter, but he is a good hunter. He's a hunter that can very much secure you ties if you play him right. He's a hunter that can get you wins if you play him exceptionally. And as well, your game sense is there. Vio is far from a weak hunter, but he's also far from a strong hunter. It all is really just depending on your play. If you're a passive Vio, prepare to get a whole crap ton of ties. If you're an aggressive Vio, prepare to go get a whole crap ton of ties. There needs to be a healthy balance of both being aggressive and passive. You need to control yourself in a sense. You need to learn when to be aggressive, when to be passive. But nonetheless, I still enjoy using Vio. He's still my main. He's still my boy. You know, only character in this game that I've gotten S badge for so far. A little FYI for that one. But yeah. So Priestess used her self heal. So I go back. I get to the mech, and mech goes down roughly within about the next 15 seconds. But yeah, that's the end of the video. Those are my tips and tricks for Vio, as well as just my own personal thoughts. I hope you guys all liked the video. Um, hope you all had a lovely Christmas. Hope you all have a happy new year.